What was I when you first knew me? Before you ever knew me? I am a Bane Ray, born into the city's most ancient and powerful house. A mad woman, butchering prey in the name of a god who would discard me without a thought once I was no longer of use. My life was one of privilege and danger. Bar, Lolf, <sighs> the absolute. Like you, I lived in Kuelarzol, high above the city's sprawl. They do not have followers. They only have victims, and they reward devotion with death. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the Underdark or stolen from the surface, and I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own, and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. When I came of age, she tried to take my life herself. And I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. She taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted, literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. As you approach Minthara, you feel her mind reaching out to yours, tentative and curious. Then it retreats, soft as a whisper. Sorry, old habits. I did not ask permission. When we first met, I did not think we would ever share anything more than an uneasy alliance, born of our mutual enmity for the Absolute. I was wrong. A deeper bond has grown between us. I trust you. But I would like to touch your thoughts again, now that my mind is my own. May I? Of course. I do not hide anything from you. When the Absolute fell silent, I thought I would be alone. I expected to spend my days among surface dwellers who knew nothing of my culture. I did not expect to meet another outcast from the Underdark who understood me. I did not expect you. I have been told that I am special since my mother first held me in her arms. The burden of expectation. Before the Absolute, I lived a life of certainties. I knew that I was destined for greatness because I was born to it. I also knew that my inherited privilege came with the cost. That the bonds of fellowship and family could be broken by envy and ambition. I could not enjoy the taste of food for fear of poisoning, and I could not enjoy the company of lovers and friends because I feared they hid knives behind their smiles. In spite of the danger, I was happy. I knew myself, and I understood the world around me. Now, nothing is certain. Without Lolth, without the Absolute, without my home, I do not know myself. But you do, I think. Show me myself through your eyes. Let me see what I am to you. She joins her thoughts with yours, and you are as one. You share in her strength of mind and formidable will, but also the doubts that eat at her conviction. Those doubts cluster in swarms, and the thickest is around her sense of self. She pushes past, revealing the image of her you hold in your mind. What does she see? The cold shell of Minthara's mind melts away, and you are drawn into the heart of her. Warm, passionate, and dangerous. I have never lacked confidence, but this conflict seems so much bigger than the two of us. It frightens me. 
I do not know if we will survive it. But whatever life remains to us, I would gladly spend it fighting at your side and lying with you at night. Her mind touches yours, feather light and hesitant, a stark contrast to the confidence with which her thoughts intruded on yours in the past. Tonight, there will be no voices, no orders, no gods. I belong only to you. I am not on edge. I am alert, as you should be too. Orin could be anywhere, could be anyone. Despite her protestations to the contrary, it is clear that Minthara is afraid. If you sense my fear, be sure that she does too. It is her greatest weapon. She has the scent of our blood, and she will tease and toy until she tires of the hunt. Then she will obliterate us without a second thought. She had me in her clutches once before. Promise that you won't let it happen again. Thank you. Together, we will survive her. Against Orin. I have my doubts. We need to watch over each other. Now, more than ever. Tell me, Usno. Or show me. My mind is open to you. Exposed to the limitless horror of your dreadful imagination, Minthara's mind buckles, snaps, and then burns hot. She absorbs every detail, whether memory or dream, and drinks deep of them. You sense a desire in her equal in strength to your darkest urge. Elgor, Duktak, Slayer. There are many names for you, my love, and all of them inspire dread. You are exquisite. We must find the Temple of Baal, slaughter Orin, and claim your inheritance. Then I will rule by your side, my slayer. You look well. Are you ready to pursue our enemies? That is your gift to me, and we are bound together until it is done. Perhaps longer, if you wish it. This bond we share. I believe it is a low stream. If that is so, it will last as long as we do. A low stream. It is a word used rarely, describing the deepest bonds of trust and love. While Orin lives, I fear we will not last long at all, whether together or apart. We must find her and kill her. <sighs> Hard to believe she is dead. After all that she did to me, I do not often doubt myself. But surviving Orin took courage and strength I was not sure I had. I could not have faced her without you. You are trying to raise my spirits. I appreciate it, but any joy the sight of Orin's corpse brings me is but a speck of comforting shade. There is little relief to be found from the heat of the storm we are caught in. While the brain is still free, and we are still infected, we will never be safe. But we can talk of this later. For now, let us be glad that we still draw breath, and that Orin does not. You wish to consult me? One part of it. A smaller part than I had hoped. It was, but it has left a bitter taste. Orin could make herself a mirror to anyone she met. A perfect physical replica, down to the slightest blemish or imperfection. It was only the surface that she imitated, though. 
the skin and the muscle and the bone. Peel back the surface, and her madness lay beneath. She could not hide that, no matter what form she took. No matter how perfect the surface imitation, few would see themselves reflected in Orin's madness, in her soul. I did see myself there, a broken version of myself, but recognizable nonetheless. And of course, you saw yourself there too. She was your sister, after all, bound to you by Baal's blood. Perhaps I will be, one day. Now that you have your father's dark blessing, you are the master of your urges, and together we can win this fight and become as gods ourselves. <laughs> When we first met, I could not have chosen that future. I could choose nothing. It is only because of you that I did not meet the same fate as Orin, lost to madness and blood. If you had killed me when we first met, I would have been just one more casualty of your crusade against the Absolute, and nobody would remember me. I could lose myself in you. <laughs> 